Welcome back to another devlog about my 2D mining and crafting game. Over the last few weeks, I've done a lot of thinking about the combat system for my game. And I love the idea of having the player equip a bunch of wands or staffs that each have a specific spell they can cast. My goal then would be for the player to craft up and collect a bunch of wands that would become really powerful and they could play around with those different wands to find a unique combination of offensive utility and defensive spells that would allow them to overcome enemies and make dangerous bosses almost easy. One of the biggest lessons I learned from making my first commercial game Chess Survivors is to give yourself as many levers as possible for balancing your combat. And although my goal will be to absolutely design a bunch of spells that all feel balanced, it's likely going to be something I don't get right. And so today we're going to do just that by adding a new lever to my game, which is going to be the mana system. I figured a nice starting point is going to be to just copy over the health system and just rename a bunch of it to be mana. So we'll grab the UI here and just copy that over. And then we can copy the health component and just duplicate it and rename a few of the variables to say mana instead of health. And finally, we'll set up the UI so that we can have this showing in our home base. And we're going to use blue as a mana color because sometimes you don't need to reinvent the wheel for the sake of reinventing the wheel. So our mana will be blue. Now I need to actually make the spells use the mana, but my spell and wand system was basically put together using duct tape. So we're going to spend a little bit of time here just doing a light refactor of those systems. Without going into too many details here, the key thing I'm trying to do is make it so that I can just easily pass in the spell resources into my different wands. So I've defined a resource that will have a reference to a spell script as well as a reference to a spell projectile and a mana cost. Then when it comes time to actually cast the spell, we're passing in some modifier data from the player so that the spell can be reactive to the gear the player is wearing as well as we're reducing the mana cost from the player's mana component. Something I like a lot about this approach is I'm using some common data patterns that I can easily store stuff into data using custom resources or I can load stuff in from data really easily so that when it comes time to build out a save system, I already have data kind of thought about in the back of my head and I don't have to go through my system refactoring everything so that it's data driven first and persistence and stuff like that. So this system likely will be adjusted in the future, but for now let's jump into the game and we can flip over to our fire staff here, which will then cast the fire spell and perfect. It detracts 10 mana from our mana total, then the mana regen runs back up. So there's still quite a few different things I need to put into the system, like preventing you from just spam left clicking and then getting your mana detracted. But for now, I think this is a step in the right direction and should be a very helpful tool in my toolbox as I eventually have to balance all these different spells. Now I'll be live right after I publish this video over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Aramis. I'd love it if you'd stop by. We're gonna be working on the crafting bench, which should be a really fun and core system to be building into the game. But Thank you so much for watching. I've been Aramis. Have a wonderful day.